and I wanted to show you what I absolutely love, but it's there, it's been put on a hand cream. So glamorous! And it's got my initials, I love that! Hey guys! I have a bit of chaos here. So I was just shooting something for my Instagram. Good morning everybody and welcome to Vlogmas day number six I think. So what a night, it was really lovely night. I've got actually four change cup of tea. And where do I start? So first things first, I really enjoyed last night. I actually took my friend Bex again as plus one so we had a nice catch up. And I had these dance for the first time ever in my life. I've got press-ons. I like natural stuff. I'm not, you know, I'm trying to always embrace whatever was given to you by mother nature but I know there's a lot of women that love stuff like that that they love like lashes and you know everything like that I mean with microblading you probably saw it in the vlog and on social media that I was seriously thinking about it for a long time but I'm happy with it you know if we have got all these things to help us to look better and feel better why not um so yeah and I got loads loads in a goodie bag so do you know what like I may Maybe every now and then wear it if I'm in a rush just to press these on. I mean, I do love the accent nails and it feels very festive and very Christmassy, so I did enjoy that. Big C Lot had a great performance. Um, now, I'm gonna admit, I don't listen to her, like, it's not like I would go and, you know, download her album or anything, but it was actually fun. She really got me into Christmassy mood, singing all the big hits. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas um, last Christmas, so I really enjoyed that. So it was a fun night. I came a little bit later because Tyke forgot I'm going out, so yeah, I only got there maybe after 8, the venue was beautiful, so I enjoy that. And today I sadly had to turn down an event, which I'm sad about, but you know what, like, you know, what What do I lose? Yeah, lovely event and probably a nice wreath I would make, uh, so I was invited by Estley and Clark uh, Jewelry. They're doing like a, a workshop with Wild at Heart, which is an amazing florist. Uh, you Londoners probably know it. Uh, so I'm gutted, I could have a nice wreath, you know, make it there, but I have Liam. And they said, oh, we have got another child coming, but you know what, like it's... I'm then just nervous and, you know, to get on the tube and, you know, travel there with a the buggy. And it just makes me exhausted and because I'm doing Vlogmas, I'm trying to avoid as much hassle as possible uh, so I said yeah he's a he's a you know demanding three-year-old and me doing a reef you know traveling and all that whilst editing and you know trying to catch up on work is quite difficult so today I'm gonna be staying home first things first I will have to go to post office pick up those two parcels again I missed yesterday or two letters I don't know what it is so I'll do that before Liam's nursery, uh, just so I have got then free time. Then I get I go back home and I need to do some content. I'm going to do the styling session for you, show you the pieces from H&M yesterday. I could also do with cleaning and, and all that. I mean, there's loads, loads to do. I need to deal with email, so quite worky email, but I'll try to, you know, I'll try to do the styling session so the vlog has got some sort of theme and topic just because I'm not running out and about at today. So yeah, I'll do that and yeah, let's have a good day. And yeah, there is one last thing I wanted to mention. So as of today, from this vlog, I actually got inspired by a girl I started to watch on YouTube last year, but I totally, totally got into her and I shared it on my socials again, uh, Erica Fox from Retro Flame. And in her previous Vlogmas, I really, really loved how she did basically her giveaway. So I want to do something similar. Uh, so I've got loads of stuff, things I got twice, um, things I just don't get to use because I have got only one face, but I am very fortunate and very grateful for getting all these products. And I would like to share some with you, but rather than showing exactly what the product is, um, I want to kind of announce this. So during the whole Vlogmas series, anytime you enter in the comment Eva McMahon Vlogmas and your email address, 
you are entering a giveaway. Now I'm gonna do these quite randomly and definitely maybe once twice a week I'm gonna pick from all these comments and I'm gonna send you some surprise. More likely it's gonna be luxury beauty products so yeah pretty much all the stuff I get is high-end and luxury and so yeah so basically I'm gonna put down the rules under each video but all you need to do is comment Eva McMahon Vlogmas your contact details so I can contact you and then I'll be picking the winners as we go and then I'll just announce it and um, under the winning comment and obviously I'll contact you directly so that's a giveaway for you guys until Christmas um, Hopefully some of these will arrive before Christmas so you can have like a lovely little surprise. I'm going to be putting their good stuff, I promise. So yeah, that's the giveaway. Each Vlogmas you have got a chance to win something really lovely. So that's it. That's my announcement. I'll be probably reminding it in each, uh, in each day. Uh, so you guys don't forget because not everybody may watch this one but they may watch some other vlog. So yeah, that's the story. Let's start the day and let's have a good one. And this is how much the boys love the muffins. Look, there's not much left, is it? If you compare it yesterday, I only made it yesterday, so Tyke took some work. He definitely had last night. I can see that missing. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so yeah, four. I actually took a car, picked up my packages, and let's drop Liam off to the nursery now. First things first, just got home, cup of tea. Come on. So I was just shooting something for my Instagram and for my blog, um, this gorgeous uh, rotate dress. Um, I don't know if you read, but probably the ones that are from Czech, if you read my LA article, it's actually one of my favorite influencers brands. So it was set up by like influencer and a stylist. And I think they do amazing stuff. I mean, the sleeves, it's just so statement. Although the print is quite dressed down, like it's your typical, you know, print you would have on anything else from coats to blazers, but oh my god, this is just epic. And I actually put on these burgundy flats because I was actually <laughs> trying to match a little bit my Christmas tree and my lipstick. Uh, you know, I've got the burgundy touches. So this is the first look I thought I'm gonna show you, but let's look at the H&M stuff. I'm gonna try it on and show you what I got yesterday. So the first thing I actually picked up are these trousers. I don't know if you can see, but they're basically like, they've got like a really subtle snake print. And the fabric feels like some sort of satin. I haven't checked the composition, but it actually comes as a suit. And I don't, I love suits, but I, I actually don't have, I think I got rid of more suits when I stopped working in an office environment, but I thought like this would be a nice subtle way how to dress up for any Christmas party. I love the fit of the trousers as well. So these are size 10. I think with heels, yeah, with heels I may struggle, but if the heels are not too high, because obviously I'm quite tall, um, so maybe even with these manolos, just to add a bit of sparkle and something special. But let me show you, oh yeah, and I just put on this cami, which you've seen so many times, it's perfect for everyday styling, for dress up styling. It's such a good investment. So guys, this one is from Intimissimi. They're real silk. They, I think retail about, I don't know, 55 pounds. They have a lot of colors. Really, really good piece to have in a lot of colors. So I'm gonna pop on the blazer so you can see the full look, but I'm very happy with this. And I must say, um, I think I would not necessarily, when I come to H&M, would notice this. But then I'm like, wow, this is actually... Because when you have got less to choose from and it's less overwhelming, you actually start to think, okay, so th you could use this for so many more occasions. You could wear it with knits, leather jacket, you could dress it down, dress it up, you could wear it separately. So I'm very pleased with this one. Right, so I just popped on the blazer. It's got one button like this. It's got the same kind of shine to it and a very subtle snake print. So I think it looks very chic. I really like it. Um, you could do with a nice necklace here or something like that. But I'm very, very happy with this. This blazer could go with like maybe throw on over dresses. So you, you could utilize this a lot, but I think I like it the most as a as a set. Um, I think it would be nice with maybe something velvet underneath just for the clash or working with the different textures. So that would be quite lovely as well. So I'll link this 
in the description box if it's online available so you can guys check it out properly okay i really fell in love with this dress how simple it is yet it's got really nice details and it's that dress you would basically throw on when you're not sure what to wear and this would be like a classic look like with Labutans and my Bulgari bag just to add a touch of red which is great for Christmas maybe like bigger earrings but let me just put down the bag and then show you the lovely details of the dress so I love how it's done here so it's all tight and then you kind of have a knee length or knee length on me I think on a lot of people it would be midi and it goes onto the side and then you would have like a little bell sleeve here so very similar like basically what you have the skirt coming out you have the same style on the sleeve so I thought this looks very chic very like a different um, to like all the sequins and like velvet yet you feel like a little bit dressed up but like I wanted to wear this yesterday to the party but decided to wear something else because I know it would be like really proper like glitter and glam but this is so chic like for dinner I would literally wear this maybe for our Christmas dinner as well uh, because it's actually really comfortable this dress so I'm very pleased with this one but I also picked up a pair of boots and the reason why I actually went for this dress because I thought it looks amazing with the boots I haven't bought or haven't had H&M shoes for a while I think the boots were uh, like uh, um, retail for maybe around 80 pounds and I don't have anything like that they're like a really tall sock boot yes I have got my like Stuart Weitzman like the really tight ones but that's not black so I'll show you that I'll show you this with the boots so you can see the boots and get an idea what I was thinking when I was actually picking it yesterday so look at the boots I love wearing midi dresses when you basically don't see any skin and they come out like this high I prefer them with midi dresses but maybe I will wear them with shorter skirts but this I find so chic together just maybe my Chanel bag like all nice like really nice all black look and let me show you the details on the boots so they've got like little studs comfortable heel so I think it's something you can dress up and dress down and a really really good pair to have for winter so yeah, because very often when I go to events, I just jump on the train because Tyke is coming always later and train is so much faster for me as well to get anywhere. Like if I was to jump in the cab during the peak hours when he gets home like 7, 7.30, it would take me ages. So I need comfortable yet nice pair of shoes always or pair of boots. So yeah, this is the next thing. And yeah, the last thing is the coat, which you saw yesterday, but I'm going to show you, maybe I'll style it with some jeans, like how I would wear it on a daily basis, but you can also glam up something like that, super easy. And the last look is something I would wear on a daily basis, maybe when I uh, go to a meeting, not necessarily when I just drop the necessary. sometimes I just don't bother at all. Um, so I just put on like a Balmain t-shirt, threw on this coat, it's super warm. Uh, the trousers you saw me in earlier, I just love like wearing leather or faux leather in the winter. And yeah, it's super cozy. I don't have any shoes on, but maybe like trainers or cute boots would look really nice with this. So I'll try to link all these in the description box below. And hopefully you guys liked any of the pieces. I think this one is one of my favorites, absolutely love it like i've tried i told you i've tried it on in a different color and didn't get it in the end i was like maybe i'll wait for black friday and there you go i've got it in white i'm very happy with it and very grateful that was basically a gift from the brand okay i was just taking a picture for my thumbnail and I wanted to show you what I absolutely love but it's just quite difficult unless you go in the car from door to door to do but I love sandals with big coats I love like court shoes and pumps with big coats in the winter which is obviously not practical when you are not going in the taxi or in the car but I just thought this looks amazing so yeah definitely better than trainers for me I just think it looks really cool and I love the tones how the shoes go with the trousers and the white oh yes bring it on 
and I showed you this yesterday. I also picked up this headband, which I thought is really cute. I don't know. Yes, so it's a bit mesh and it's got dots on. So I thought that's quite cute for dressing up. That retails for seven pounds in the shop. Oh, I have a bit of chaos here. I'm just trying now to put on quickly lunch. I also started to clean. Uh, so I have got a house clean for the weekend. I've got quite busy day tomorrow, so I'm gonna do it tomorrow. But I'm gonna make bolognese. But what I do is, sometimes I like hide like some vegetables in it. So I'll show you what I did. So I just grated some courgette and then I add the meat, garlic, onions, and then just flavor it. The tomatoes. And then flavor it, really. So I'm off to pick up Liam. I rarely like drive to pick him up, but I just want to be home really quickly and just easily today. Uh, I've got quite loads to do still and I want to spend some time with him. So really, yeah. Or oh, these could be also excuses. Maybe I'm just <laughs> lazy to walk. Uh, no, I'll just pick him up basically in the car. He likes to go in the car anyway. Uh, we've got lunch ready, so he's going to eat then and then I'll start to clean. He's always helping me or just playing and running around and making mess after I cleaned everything. I'm sure you know that. Then I have to get on with some stuff. Um, I need to write a blog post. So yeah, uh, kind of busy day at home. But basically Tyke is off tomorrow and he hates when I clean and he's in the house. And that I hate it. So I don't know if your husband's partners also don't like it. You know, they just want to sit down and do nothing. Like... That's how it is, basically, and they don't want to be disturbed, they don't want to hoover around or anybody like, you know, folding stuff and tidying and dusting and yeah, so, story of my life. I just want to do groceries tomorrow, to clean today, at least a little bit, so I want to be like a huge, huge clean up, um, change bed sheets and yeah, get ready for the weekend, really. Look who's here. Say hi, guys. Hey guys! <laughs> We're just gonna go home now, get him lunch and get on with the day. <sighs> so the house is cleanish. You know, like you could do this forever. I mean, I, I wish I could get somebody just to come in and sort the wardrobes and this room. But yeah, step by step. But the problem is you know, you finish one thing and then by the time you get on to the other one, the ones you already finish is already messed up or dirty or filthy. But yeah, living with a toddler and a man doesn't help. Well, some guys are very clean and very tidy, but I swear like, like Tyke doesn't really even wash a plate after him. Anyway guys, I got a few deliveries. This one is from Bully. Um, which is, I think, a perfume I showed you the other day, or a uh, fragrance brown. And they just came up with a lip balm. That looks so glamorous. And it's got my initials. I love that. How cute is that? Oh my god, let's open this. It looks like... Oh, I love it. So good. And it came in little pouch. That's very glamorous. Beautiful present. I don't know how much that is. I assume not super cheap. I'll show you, look at the press release. So you've got like different colors, but it looks amazing. Oh, 30 pounds. So 30 pounds and I think gorgeous. Gosh, it's so dark. I've been watching Lydia's vlog in the background and Liam is asleep on the sofa. Sorry guys, it's dark. I did my blog post, but I wanna turn on the Christmas tree lights. I have to wake Liam up, otherwise he then wants to go to bed later, which is not ideal for me. Oh, this is so cozy and I'm gonna go and I just feel like my hands are really dry, so upstairs and put on a hand cream. Alright, so I think I'm gonna finish the vlog, guys. I'm just getting ready some stuff for Liam for the nursery, uh, for their performance. Their mentor basically were either white sequin or like yellow because they're gonna be stars oh my god i can't believe it. he's gonna be like performing <laughs> i wish we could record it but uh yeah we can't i i'm probably gonna maybe write a few just a little bit at least on my book uh just because i put it on my to-do list and i never have got the time so i'm just gonna try to do it now uh but i thought i'm gonna finish the vlog here 
I'm actually treating myself to a glass of wine or mulled wine tonight. Uh, I've got Christmas tree lights on, Tyke is off tomorrow. I've got quite a busy day tomorrow, but obviously we'll see that in tomorrow's vlog. Um, just more like uh, running errands, I need to get a, a little present for my friend's son. Then we should be going to their Christmas party. Uh, there should be like Elf and Santa. Uh, so hopefully Liam will enjoy that. So yeah, it's a, it's, um, it's a vlog probably a lot about like Liam and errands, but still very busy <laughs> nevertheless. So yeah guys, thanks very much for watching uh, my next vlogmas. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. So just type in uh, the comments below Eva McMahon vlogmas and yeah. Thanks very much and I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. Bye!